everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel! With summer just around the corner, I decided to finish editing some 2022 footage before moving on to this year's videos. Last August, Christian and I embarked on a one-week road trip to Sardinia to attend his friend's wedding. Our journey started north of Athens where we spent some time with our friends out in nature. With our two suitcases and a huge bag of camping gear, we prepared ourselves for sleeping on some ferries. This was my first time doing anything like this, so I was shocked that we weren't the only ones with the same idea. After an overnight ferry from Igumenitsa, Greece, we woke up in Bari, Italy, a port city that also happens to be the capital of southern Italy's Puglia region. He's got a pistachio waffle. It looks so good. Orange juice. Although adventurous, this was only the beginning of what was going to be a long trip, dragging our suitcases through Bari, Naples, Florence, and Sardinia. We have arrived in the land of pizza. Traveling this morning was so disgusting. I didn't even want to show myself on camera just because of how sweaty and gross I was. As you guys saw, the situation last night on the ferry was absolute chaos. But we finally got showered and we need to head out now. Our booking.com bread and breakfast host sent us some recommendations and some of them close really soon. So let's go. Cause it's the only There's escalators right in the middle of the road. Just arrived at the Castel. Don't know if I said that right. It was only two euros and 50, even though it said five euros on the board, but I think it's because we're arriving a little bit later. I'm not sure, but our Airbnb host told us that the view from this castle is pretty nice. And so I'm excited to climb up. Out actually, look. This view is so nice. That was the perfect viewpoint for our first hour in Naples and now we're taking the stairs down to the port where Christian found a supposedly really really good pizzeria place. I've never had pizza in Naples before and this is like the pizza city so I'm really excited. I'm so hungry and tired and sweaty. Oh my gosh, yesterday was the best first day in Naples. We just checked out at the Airbnb. Krish and I just had a delicious sweet breakfast and we're just gonna chill out here in the lobby for a little bit before taking the train to Florence where we're gonna be staying for a day and a half. So I'm really excited about that, but 
We are just so done with carrying our heavy luggages around the street. It was just so nice to sleep on a real bed after sleeping on the ferry. I slept like a baby. On our second full day in Italy, we took another Italia train to Florence. Our tickets cost 29 euros each and within three hours, we arrived in beautiful Firenze. Because Christian and I tend to go with the wind when we travel together, we didn't think that a rental car would be needed to arrive at our B&B. So after one bus ride and a surprise hike up some hills with our luggage, I was exhausted. When we finally arrived, our lovely host recommended us to end the night at this delicious pizzeria to try and alleviate how tired we were. Okay. We just woke up in our beautiful, beautiful home out on the outskirts of the city. It is so, so beautiful. And yesterday was such a disaster. After arriving at the train station in Fidenze, we basically were going to take like a car rental service, but it didn't work out. So we had to take the bus all the way to where we are now. And then we had a really unexpected like hike to where we're staying and Christian was helping me just like push the luggage up this hill for about 20 minutes. I had my heavy tech backpack on my back and I was sweating so 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 much. It was the worst experience of my life. I almost killed Christian. It was so bad. So we got here. The hosts were so nice. I haven't really even seen the view yet. And I don't know how much I can show because it's still someone's home. Today is basically our only full day in Florence and then tomorrow we leave for Sardinia. Um, they set up this really pretty like wine. We had a glass of water here, some cookies. But yeah, they're just the nicest hosts. Wow. Look at the breakfast they made for Look at this wow. After our delicious breakfast, our host offered to drop us off at the south bank of the Arno River on the way to their appointments. Our first stop was San Miniato. This basilica is free to enter and is a great place to view the city. A tourist hotspot for a reason, there is no denying how beautiful the city is. From there, we walked to Piazza Michelangelo where you can spot the fake David. There are three statues of Michelangelo's David in Florence, and, and this replica is made out of bronze. We then walked down towards Palazzo Pitti for our 1pm reservation. Since Florence is super crowded with tourists, it's recommended that you book your reservations far in advance. Our gelato. I got cafe and plum, and Christian got lemon and mulberry. So good. This is so good, guys. While finishing my delicious gelato on the Ponte Vecchio, I had one of the wildest moments. I was walking through the shops on the old bridge when I heard someone shout out my name. 
Before I knew it, I spotted my old classmate Nate from college French class. I hadn't seen this guy in like four years, so it was pretty wild that I saw him here on the freaking Ponte Vecchio of all places. Since we didn't have a reservation for the Duomo and the Academia, the line was just way too long for the short amount of time that we had. So we decided to kill some time at a vintage shop before our reservation at the famous Uffizi Gallery Art Museum. Out of all of the artworks, I was most excited to see The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli just because my uncle used to have a fake replica of it in my childhood home. Finally arrived at dinner. Our hostess was kind enough to make us reservations at this place, and is it bad to say that I'm semi glad that the day is almost over? It's been such an exhausting and semi stressful day just trying to pack everything in. I'm so excited to just sit. You ready? Pear juice is so good. After saying goodbye to the best host in Florence, we were finally en route to Sardinia. We took a regional train and then boarded on a Grimaldi Lines ferry to Livorno. Christian found this nice campsite where we were going to stay for the night, but the journey there was going to be complicated, especially with our luggage. Rise and shine! My suitcase is absolutely demolished. We left it under the bus yesterday in the storage unit and it just totally squished the suitcase. Also, one of the wheels is like completely ripped off, but this guy is pretty old, so I need to replace it anyway. My body feels so exhausted. We finally arrived where the wedding is taking place at Christian's friend's village in Sardinia. We're staying at one of the relatives' house which is so, so nice of them. Yesterday night after getting back, we showered, got ready, and then went to this like village get together that was super, super cute. It was a band singing in Sardinian, and then we just had like pizza, some people had some beers and drinks, and it was just a nice, fun time. We got to meet a lot of people that are coming to the wedding today. I'm really excited, one, because I just love attending weddings. I haven't been to too many. And two, it's an Italian wedding, so I'm really excited. This is the dress that I'll be wearing. It's kind of more on the casual side. I actually got this dress in Monastiraki Flea Market in Athens, but it has a really cute back detail. And Christian actually has some red suspenders, so we're actually matching for once, which is really cute. I'm going to be wearing my Aloha sandals that are in here. They're honestly the only heels that I have, but they're really comfy. I think we got back from the village party at around 2 a.m. yesterday and we woke up this morning at like 11 something and when we left the room we thought that everyone had already left somewhere but turns out everyone is still in the room so I think today is just going to be a really chill day until the wedding. for the wedding really liking my makeup today I kept it pretty simple and added a red lip 
to match my dress. Let me show you guys the outfit. Don't know if you guys can fully see. Oh. But this is my dress. I'm wearing these Aloha heeled sandals that are really cute. Now we're gonna go across to meet up with the other guys and then take the bus to the venue. This is Christian's outfit. Yeah. But she'll take it. Finally, after an exhausting but eventful week in beautiful Italy, it was time to head back to Greece. After going on another overnight ferry, we had a one hour train stop in Rome where I decided to get some poke. I know, what am I doing? I'm in Italy. But my genetics can only handle so much dairy and I started to break out everywhere. We then continued to drag what was left of my suitcase back to Bari, where we grabbed some dinner and had some of the best gelato that I've ever had. After that, we boarded our last overnight ferry. We actually booked a room this time, but the first room that they gave us reeked of mold, so they finally moved us to another room. By early morning, we reached Igomenitsa in Greece and refueled after an exhausting trip with some of our friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.